let us take the next example suppose instead of saying a particular angle or a right angle uh, sometime the question will be at what time at what time between at what time between 9 to 10 9 to 10 the hands of a clock the hands of a clock will coincide so this is the question so till now we have seen when the angle is given directly in terms of the number like 60 70 80 now in the next example we have seen right angle now i am saying coincide we know that at the starting also we discussed the same thing coincide is nothing but so meeting if not simply lying on the same line with same direction or simply having angle of zero degrees so here coincide uh, denotes something as here zero degrees angle so indirectly what i am asking at what time the angle between the hand should be zero and when we discuss about the angle zero at the starting we concluded one thing like 11 times in 12 hours and only once in every hour here we know that it will happen only once so that here how we can find that only one time so here no need to take two forms because we are getting only ones now the formula is theta is equals to 11 by 2m minus 30h if i take so this is the form and theta is equals to 30h minus 11 by 2m even though you are taking these two forms when you consider theta as zero now let's see what will happen 11 by 2 minus 30h and here 0 equals to 30h minus 11 by 2m so from this 30h is equals to 11 by 2m and even here also 30h is equals to 11 by 2m so like this in these two cases we are having the same form so you can substitute in any that's why in this case simply you can take theta is equals to 11 by 2m minus 30h or 30h minus 11 by 2m because we are having only one chance to get zero degrees angle so it's your choice whatever you want to use if not we know that it is zero so simply you can use in this form so 30h is equals to 11 by 2m now between 9 to 10 i am asking here between 9 to 10 uh, 10 means the lower limit should be considered as h value so here substitute 30 into 9 is equals to 11 by 2 m yeah. so from this 270 is equals to 11 by 2 m yeah. and from this m yeah, is equals to 540 by 11 so m yeah, is equals to 540 by 11 means 11 4 that's 44 then 100 9 that's 49 1 by 11 so in this way we can consider m value and here the time i can consider is 949 here 1 by 11 so this is something how we can understand the time as here 949 1 by 11 where the hands of the clock will coincide so you will be getting only once because the hands of the clock will meet once in every hour now suppose if i ask question like at what time at what time between 11 to 12 the hands the hands will meet so here what i am saying is at what time between 11 to 12 the hands will meet now h value is clearly 11 and we know that theta is equals to so hands will meet means theta is 0 now 
when the theta is zero we know that we can take only one form and both will be getting, uh, getting the same values so that's why we can take anything if not simply we can substitute 11 by 2 m is equals to 30 h because from the same formula we are getting here when you substitute theta by zero now 11 by 2 m is equals to 30 into 11 so here 11 by 2 m is equals to 330 and m is equals to here 660 by 11 m is equals to 60. Now from this what we can understand is the time must be actually 1160. What do you mean by 1160? It is exactly 12 o'clock. That's the thing what we discussed at the starting. The hands of the clock will meet only once between 11 to 1 that is at 12 o'clock if you want you just find out the time between 12 to 1 even there also you will not get any value between 12 to 1 it will be after 1 or exactly at 12 so in this case we can find out here required values as 60 degrees which shows the time is at 12 there is no time between 11 to 12 when we can expect 0 degrees angle so the other angle if we consider 180 degrees even that also suppose if I ask at what time at what time between at what time between 5 to 6 the hands are opposite to each other so at what time between 5 to 6 the hands of the clock will be opposite to each other now we should calculate the time now we know that h value is the lower limit that is 5 so out of these two next opposite to each other suppose if i take the scenario so opposite to each other means simply the angle is 180 degrees so here the angle is equals to 180 degrees now when we are finding the value let's see how we can find so now if you want to take both so theta is equals to 11 by 2 m minus 30 h and here theta is equals to 11 by 2 m already we took so now here we can take 30 h minus 11 by 2 m so we are taking both the forms here and substituting in that but it is 180 degrees angle we know that here any one of them must be here giving the required value because only once we can expect in any hour so while you are finding 180 degrees take both definitely one will be here crossing the limit and the other one only will give and in some special cases so none of them will give the right answer so now we are going to find the same now let's see theta is 180 which is equals to 11 by 2 m minus 30 into here h value 5 so from this 11 by 2 m is equals to 180 plus 150 330 and from this m is equals to 660 by 11 m is equals to 60 so here the time what we can expect is 560 that indicates exactly 6 o'clock so we are asking here between 5 to 6 but it is 6 o'clock so we cannot consider now let's go for this case so 180 is equals to 30 into 5 minus 11 by 2 m now if i take 11 by 2 m is equals to so here 150 minus 180 so what it indicates it is negative so it is also not possible so from this what we can understand as we discuss the hands of the clock will be opposite to each other exactly at 6 o'clock or before 5 o'clock or after 7 o'clock but not in between 
5 to 6 or 6 to 7. So that's why we are not getting any value uh, which shows the time between 5 to 6. It is exactly 6 if not before 5 or after 7. There is no value between 5 to 6 or 6 to 7. So this is how we can understand the point we discuss at the starting. No. So like this whatever the angle they are giving like opposite to each other or meeting or uh, having on the same line with same direction or opposite direction or it may be having 5 minutes space. When I am asking 5 minutes space, 5 minutes space, what do you mean by 5 minutes space? Actually we know that 1 minute space is equals to 6 degrees so I want 5 so 6 degrees into 5 which is 30 degrees because 1 minute space is equals to 6 degrees at the starting we discuss a minute's hand can cover exactly 360 degrees in 1 hour means 6 degrees in 1 minute so that 6 degrees is called as a minute space next so here sometimes they will ask a question like find the reflex angle find the reflex angle at 340 so what I am asking when the time is 340 I want the reflex angle we should find the reflex angle now let's see what do you mean by reflex angle generally when the time is 3 o'clock if we consider the angle here it is 90 degrees so at 3 o'clock the angle is 90 degrees so this part we know that it is a circle and the total value total value is 360 degrees so when we take this part as 90 then the remaining value then the remaining value is equals to 360 minus this angle only so that will get us 270 degrees so this angle is called as reflex angle so the meaning of reflex angle is simply total 360 minus angle at the time so now i can define reflex angle as so total or simply 360 degrees minus angle at the time angle at that time so reflex angle at any time is equals to 360 minus angle at the time so in order to find out this first we should find the angle at 340 now let us find the angle at 340 is equals to theta is equals to 11 by 2 m is 40 difference 30 into h value 3 so theta equals to 20 into 11 which is 220 difference 90 so it is equals to 130 so 130 is the angle at 340 but we want reflex angle so 360 minus 130 which is exactly equals to 230 degrees so in this way reflex angle here is equals to 230 how we are getting is 360 minus angle at this so how we are getting that angle is simply the same previous formula only 11 by 2 m into here 11 by 2 m difference 30 h this is how we can calculate the required reflex angle for any time we can find the reflex angle next suppose when we are having 3 o'clock exactly in a clock and if I am showing this clock in a mirror then exactly what you can observe the position of hands are like this so when I am having 3 o'clock here it will show something as 9 so in the same way 
ये टाइम विल बी गिवन इफ द टाइम इज थ्री फोर्टी वन वॉट विल बी दियर टाइम शोन बाई दिस इमेज सो लाइक दट वेन वी आर कीपिंग दिस क्लॉक इन फ्रंट ऑफ ए मिरर सो द मिरर इमेज विल शो सम टाइम नाउ आई वॉन्ट द टाइम फॉर थ्री ओ क्लॉक वी कैन एक्सपेक्ट इजीली इट इज नाइन फॉर सिक्स इट विल बी सेम सिक्स सो इन द सेम वे वेन ए पर्टिकुलर टाइम इज गिवेन now let's see how we can find out the image time for the time so the angle uh, the time how we are finding is there is a relation between these two the logic is simply actual time actual time plus image time image time is equals to 12 hours so this is the small logic can use so actual time plus image time is equals to 12 hours means what when it is 3 o'clock in actual clock it must be your some value which is giving equals to 12 hours so obviously it must be 3 so like that both the value should be equals to 12 o'clock now let's uh, see some examples how they will ask suppose if a clock if a clock is showing exactly 8:25 what will be the image of this will be showing so when the clock is showing exactly 8:25 so what time the image of this clock will show now when we show this in front of a mirror the image will be showing some time we know that 825 plus something is giving 12 hours so from this you can take x value so in order to get that value simply what i can say is subtract here 825 from 12 hours you will get 335 here if you understand this easily no problem if not the simple way how you can get is write 12 hours 12 hours as 11 hours 60 minutes so how i am taking here is 11 hours 60 minutes now the given time is here 8:25 now subtract hours in hours and minutes in minutes so it is 3 and it is 35 so in this way you can get the answer easily so the answer what we are getting in the image is 335 so whenever i am having a time as 825 in the clock the image will show 335 so that is the logic what we are using suppose let me take one more example like if a clock shows if a clock shows 11:39 then what will be the time in the image so simply we know that it should be subtracted from 11:60 and it is 11:39 so it is 0:21 what do you mean by 0:21 after we completed 12 hours again we will be starting from 0 so 0:21 is nothing but 1221 after 12 it will be 21 so 1221 will be the time simply what we are having so after 12 again it will be starting from 0 so that means after 12 it is 21 minutes so in that way i will have the required answer as 21 minutes after 12 o'clock which is equals to 1221 now let's see the vice versa suppose if the image if the image of a clock shows if the image of a clock shows 748 if the image of a clock shows 748 what is the actual time in the clock actual time in the clock now let's see we know that both the value should be equals to 12 hours and we should subtract that value from 1160 whatever it is 
whether it is actual time or image time so the process will be same so when we subtract this we are getting as 412 so actual time in the clock is 412 where the clock in the image is showing here 748 so like this we can find out the image time or the actual time whenever you know one value we can find the other value easily by this logic next the hands of a clock will coincide for every 65 minutes suppose the question is hands of a clock will coincide will go inside for every 65 minutes then how much how much time does a clock gain or lose So what is the time that the clock is gaining or losing? So in that case, so the hands of a clock will be meeting for every 65 minutes. Now let's see what do you mean by hands are meeting six for 65 minutes. Actually when we take a clock we know that totally there are 12 parts or 12 hours. So in 12 hours they are meeting 11 times. So, the hands of the clock will be meeting 11 times in 12 hours. So, here they are taking 12 hours to meet 11 times means 12 into 60 minutes if we consider for one time how much time they will take. So, 720 by 11 which means here it is equal to 660, 665, so 55 remaining 5 by 11. So in this case, the hands of the clock will be meeting for 65 5 by minutes every time. Actually, they supposed to meet after every 65 5 by 11 minutes. But in this case, they are meeting for every 65 minutes. That's why in this case, the clock will lose some time. Now let's calculate how much time it does lose. Actually, for one time, it must take 65 5 by 11 now it is taking for one time 65 minutes so the difference is simply 5 by 11 minutes now these 5 by 11 minutes will be lost by the clock in 65 minutes so here what we can understand is because they are meeting for every 65 minutes so in those 65 minutes the clock will lose the clock will lose these 5 by 11 minutes so suppose if the question was given as how much time the clock is gaining so like that 5 by 11 minutes in 65 minutes suppose if I ask how much time the clock will lose in 12 hours in 12 hours so for 65 minutes it is 5 by 11 now I want for 12 hours so how much time now let us see the value it is 5 by 11 into 1 by 65 minutes into 12 hours means 12 into 60 minutes if I calculate in terms of minutes so from this you can take here the required values that is 720 by 143 minutes or when you take in terms of a uh, yeah, hours you will get the required answer by dividing with 60 so this is how we can calculate the required value uh, which is the gain or loss what we are having for a clock whether it is in 12 hours suppose if I ask in here a day we should multiply with a day 24 hours 
here one hour means 60 minutes so 24 into that I will get the required values so this is how we can find so instead of this 65 minutes if I am saying they are meeting for every 63 minutes here 2 minutes 5 by 11 is the time what it last suppose instead of that if they are meeting for every 68 minutes so in this time the clock will gain the time so the time what it's gaining is equals to 68 minus 65 5 by 11 so in this way we can calculate the time gained by the clock or lost by the clock now when we are having two clocks actually let us take it is three o'clock so here here also three o'clock so we started both the class uh, both both the clocks at three o'clock now after one hour it is showing at four o'clock but this clock is showing exactly 4.10. So from this what we can understand is the second clock is gaining 10 minutes in one hour. So this situation is called as gaining. So what I can say here is the clock is gaining 10 minutes in every hour. Now there will be some questions which are related to clock when it is gaining so let me give you the question the question will be a clock which is gaining which is gaining three minutes every hour a clock which is gaining three minutes every hour okay if it was set right if it was set right at 5 a.m. at 5 a.m. then what time will be shown what time will be shown by this clock by this clock at 11 a.m. so when the clock was set right at a 5 a.m. then what time shown by this clock so what will be shown by this clock at 11 a.m. so here we want the time whatever the time shown by the clock so what time will be shown by this clock now so gaining three minutes means what we are having two clocks one is a correct clock other one is gaining clock so whenever this clock is showing one hour this gaining clock will show one hour plus three minutes that is the meaning now this clock was set right at 5 a.m. at 5 a.m. and we are observing at exactly 11 a.m. so here we are having six hours in actual clock or correct clock and even the gaining clock was set right at 5 a.m. now what is the time shown by this one now here the actual duration is six hours we know that the clock will be gaining three minutes every hour so totally there are six hours so in six hours this clock will gain 6 into 3 that is 18 minutes will be gained so that's why this clock will be having 6 hours 18 minutes duration so that this clock will show 11 18 so when the time is at 11 a.m. this clock gaining clock will show 11 18 because totally from 5 to 
5 to 11 the duration is 6 hours so in every hour it is gaining 3 minutes so the time will be 11 18 so in this way we can find the time gained by the clock from 5 to 11 if not the time shown by the clock at this 11 a.m. now the same kind of question okay now I will be changing some values let us take a clock which is gaining a clock which is gaining 5 minutes every hour if it was set right at 4 a.m. if it was set right at 4 a.m. and if this clock if this clock shows if this clock shows eleven thirty five AM if this clock shows eleven thirty five AM what will be what will be the right or the correct time what will be the correct time so we want the correct time here now let's see what are the given points here actually two clocks we are having c1 c2 it is the actual or the current and it is the gaining clock So here what is happening is whenever the clock is showing 1 hour this clock shows 1 hour plus 5 minutes. So now it was set right at 4 a.m. and they observed the time in this clock as uh, here they observed it as 11.35 a.m. Now we want the time in this clock. So from this what we can understand is whenever the clock is showing one hour that means whenever the actual clock is showing one hour this gaining clock shows one hour five minutes. So one hour of gaining clock gaining clock is equals to what is the time of that if we take we can consider if not we will take here one hour of correct clock is equals to one hour five minutes so one hour plus five minutes of gaining clock so one hour plus so here we are having one hour plus five minutes 